Thank you very much. It's, I'm very pleased to visit our twin city, Brasov. And it's, it's my first time here. Very, very beautiful green mountains, and the sun, the sun is shining. We also had a, a great sunny summer this year in, in, in Finland. So I'm happy, happy to be here. A couple of comments about the things we have heard here today. Very interesting speeches about the education system. It's very important when we, when we think about the climate change and how to, how to check how we can uh, manage better and better in early childhood education and care. And in, in primary school in Tampere, where I come from, we want to uh, put more and more uh, effort to every child that they would create their own relationship to nature and to climate things uh, so that we can create hope as well because we, if we don't have hope we don't have everything that's one one thing another thing that I want to I want to comment is where are all the women and, and in, in, in Tampere there's a mayor our mayor is is a woman and prime minister is a woman and, and four of the most powerful ministers are, are women, so, so at least in, in Finland we have them. But then, now I want to get to the, the case of, of, the, of, of Tampere, what we have done and what we are going to do in the, in the near future. Uh, which, what is the power of cycling and the public transportation and, and walking? A couple of words of, of Tampere. Uh, nowadays it's, it's the most attractive city in Finland. Like, uh, 3,000 people are moving to the city every year, and we need thousands of residents as, as well. And the population is now here, we see 245,000, but it, now it's almost 250,000. We will reach that limit, I think, in, in, a, in the next, next year. Uh, we are a city of, of business, students, ICT, and of course, culture and, and events. And I'm personally um, in charge of the cultural things, so it's very nice to be here in, in the in, in theater, because we're a theater city as well. We are the Tampere is the center of the region, of in in, in, in Pirkanmaa and of course the other cities, smaller towns. They are getting benefit of the of the sort of a capital that we are in in the region. Uh, Seventy-five percent of the Finns they live within two hours of Tampere, so the location is, is, is perfect. And as I mentioned in the, in the beginning, we are a twin city of Brasov, which is a really nice thing, and I'm looking forward to cooperation with, with these themes that we're talking here. Here, about the strategy we have, we want to be the city of action. And there are lots of things have happened in Tampere in, in, in the last couple of years. We have built a new, new arena and for the ice hockey world championships in the right next uh, in the downtown located uh, over the uh, railway so in the in the middle and people are asking how is that possible that so much is happening in Tampere high buildings and and things like that it's one thing that we want to be the the city of action and we have a carbon neutral roadmap and we want to be carbon neutral in 2030 so there'll there'll be less less than eight years. And here you can see what's the situation, what is, has it been in, in 2016, and what are we, what we want to be in 2030. And we, if we see the emissions, in, it's going down, as you can see, but with the CO2, the traffic uh, bars are not going down as fast as we want to be. So, there are things that we have done and we are going to do so that we would, we would make it better to happen. Uh, we have Sustainable Urban Mobility Plan, which is S-U-M-P. And as I said, we want to be carbon neutral. We want to be efficient. Everything we do, we want to be efficient. Also a safe, safe city, one of the, the key words, an equal city. We want to be a city for everybody. Doesn't matter where you come from or who you are, or which age. We want to be a good city to live for everyone. Active city as well, and 
environmentally responsible when it, it comes to events or it, it, it comes to traffic. In, in every single sector, we need to improve. Here's about the mobil mobility in Tampere. We started uh, the tram transport little less, uh, sorry, a little more than one year ago. The worst first year under the COVID situation, still it was a success. We got 10 million times people using the, the tram system. And now we, are, we think that it's going to be even, even more and more in the, in the future. The second stage is under construction. It's going, going very well. And we want, plan it to be a regional tramway 2025. Uh, we have also regional bus network and trunk lines, which, which, which helps, and uh, local, local commuter train, which is also growing very rapidly. Uh, we have made uh, new cycling uh, possibilities. City bikes we have, and it's, it's the second summer that we had for the city bike system. We still want to improve that because we also got the scooters. The electrical scooters, they are an, another option for the city bikes. And there's the things that we want people to move as well and walk and, 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 and use, use bicycles. But now we have some uh, problems with the scooters because they seem to be all over the cities, the scooters, because people come to the, to the for example, ice hockey games with uh, 10,000 scooters and then they leave them there. We have, have problems, but we have been uh, visiting Oslo, they have gotten rid of the, of the, of the problems and we want to, to benchmark them in that. Uh, we are uh, making investments to the infrastructure and mobility management as well. So, another thing is we have uh, new neighborhoods growing. One of them is, is Hieraranta. First of all, I will show, show the, the, what does it look like. So we, have, uh, we are in the middle, Tampere is the middle of two lakes. And in Nasiarvi is a bigger one, and we are building an island, the, the yellow one, we are building it on the, on the lake. And the tram system will go, you see the, the red line, there will be two stops in, right, right there. And then, of course, there are marked with the, with the green, with green line, the bicycles, and then, of course, the, the walking roads with, with the y yellow one. So we want to create uh, 25,000 residents there. 10,000 new jobs. And uh, the, the, this neighborhood, here around the area, will come to 12 minutes a tram ride from the city center. So very, very well located. Uh, and all the traffic system is based on a sustainable mobility modes. And we want it to be not only a carbon neutral, but carbon negative neighborhood as well. At, the, at this, this point, uh, the Hederanta, it's a test platform for a smart and sustainable solutions in Tampere. And also there are events of cultural activities. So this is one, one thing that we are really putting effort on in the next, next couple of, of years. The, we already have the island, but now we need to start with the, with the tram, tram system and then after that building the houses. Another good place that we have already done, uh, 3,500 homes, residents in the city of Tampere. We had uh, right there, uh, going along the uh, lake, there were a road, four, four lines of road. We dig it into the tunnel. Now there's a tunnel, and above the tunnel, we made this, this Tampela area. And in the right next to the uh, lake, there are roads that big people can walk and, 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 and cycle. And there are laser docks and, and, and canals also left and outdoor gyms for people and climb, climbing walls. So we want it to be a place for everybody. One more in the, at the end, I want to tell one thing that we have started. It started a little over one year ago. We have a mobile app uh, so that every person in Tampere, they can find out the mobility carbon footprint they have. So you, you use the app and you put there how do you 
uh, go from a place to another, and then you, the app will calculate it. And as I told you in the beginning, we have good goals. We want to be carbon neutral 2030. We need everybody along with the, with the, when we want to succeed. It was in 2021, as I told, that it was, it was uh, published. And it's an open source implementation. And 4,000 separate users, 1,600 monthly. And now we want to uh, make it so that almost, uh, almost every people would use it so they would get, get the idea of how does it influence for, a, for the one person if you take a car or if you take a bus or if you, if you cycle, if you walk, what is, what is the, uh, the total cost of it. So this is one, one definitely thing that we want to develop in the future. So thank you very much for your, for your time. And I would like to, uh, if you have any questions, I try to answer them. Thank you.